I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on rational functions. The question here is write equation of a rational function for following set of conditions. First one is whole at x equals to minus 3 then we have horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0 and behavior. As x approaches minus infinity y approaches 0 from below or negative 0 negative side as x approaches positive infinity y approaches 0 from above positive when x belongs to 3 to infinity and negative when x belongs to negative infinity to 3 these are the conditions given to us let's find the equation of the rational function you can anytime pause the video and answer the question now so we'll, our approach here is simple. We'll try to sketch from the given information and also try to develop an equation. So we'll say rational function r of x is equal to, and we'll develop this equation as we read. Whole at x equals to minus three means we have a factor x plus three in the numerator and x plus three in the denominator. That will create a whole at x equals to minus three horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0. That really means that the degree of denominator is higher or same as that of numerator. So we'll check the degree. Here is the horizontal asymptote. The end behavior is as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches 0 from below. So that means we are approaching from this side. And as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches 0 from above. That's the end behavior. Positive when x belongs to 3 to infinity. So let us say this point is 3. Let us say this point is 3 for us. So on this side, the graph is positive. On this side, it is positive and it's negative on this side. I mean, all this side, it is negative. So these are the conditions given to us. We need to figure out the equation or the graph of this function. Now, <clears throat> what should we do about it? One thing is very clear that the function is continuous. Since, uh, since we are saying that left side of 3 it is negative, right side is positive. So there could be a vertical asymptote at, at 3 that is possible or or it is continuous. So let us assume that this function is continuous. The condition is not given to us, however, it looks like, right? So what we are assuming here is that it is a continuous function. Now those are very rare cases. We have a continuous function. We are deriving this from the given condition, positive when x is greater than 3 and negative when x is less than 3 and we are treating 3 as our x intercept right so if that is the case and with this condition we are negative here positive there we could have a graph which could go kind of like this right and it has to approach to 0 kind of like this you must have seen these kinds of graphs these are the graphs which are continuous and they are rational functions and you'll get only this graph when denominator is never negative. So we could have like x square plus one term in the denominator. So that gives you an idea that we could have x square plus one avoiding any vertical asymptote, right? Now, degree of numerator has to be less than or equal to. So in this particular case, since we are assuming x intercept at three, we could try with this function x minus 3 in the numerator. So as soon as I write x minus 3, I know we have a 0 at, at 3, right? It makes sense. Now, one condition is left to show on the graph, which is whole at x equals to minus 3. So let us say this is minus 3 for us. In that case, in this graph, we'll have a hole here, right? Do you see that? So this is not a filled up point. That is a hole. So that becomes the whole. 
at x equals to minus 3. Now, <coughs> what we can do here is we can test. If I write x equals to 0, for example, I get a negative value. This denominator is always positive, right? Denominator is always positive. The numerator x minus 3 will be positive after 3. It's kind of a line, right? x minus 3 will be positive after 3 and negative there. So, before 3. So, that serves for the given condition. So, the, the rational function could be written as, so I could actually combine these two and write this as x square minus 9 divided by x plus 3 times x square plus 1. So that is the rational function which will meet all the conditions given above. Well, there could be more than one solution here, but this could be one of those rational functions uh, which could meet the criteria. I hope you understand and appreciate how we derived at the given result. Feel free to post your suggestions. Thanks for watching and all the best.